Hello and welcome to another Photoshop video. In this video we're going to be looking at how to remove the checkered background. So here we've got an image with a checkered background and there's two types of checkered background that you might see and you first really need to work out which type of checkered background you're dealing with. So what you need to do first of all is we're going to go to the edit menu and we're going to go to preferences and then we're going to go to transparency and gamut. We're just going to move this to over this box over to the side because you need to see exactly what happens. So you can see if I change this grid size, the grid will be changing. And in this situation, if this is happening for you, then you need to just set it to none and then the grid will be gone. This simply means that Photoshop is just using this internally and you can verify that by creating a new layer and then we'll just paste an image on here. And then if we put this layer on top, we'll be able to see our image above it and there's no transparency layer there. So it's just a placeholder. Okay, here we have another image. It looks very similar. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna go to edit, we're gonna go to preferences, and we're gonna go to transparency and gamut. Now, when we change the grid here, you'll notice nothing's happening. And that may be what is actually happening for you. And the reason for that, and this is something you get a lot with images you download off the internet, is because what happens with the internet is you download a ping file and the ping file is flattened. A ping file can only have one layer. To have a grid like this, you need more than one layer. But this is just, these squares are actually here. They're part of the picture, the checkerboard. So in this situation, if we added a layer and then we put our same layer on here, when we put this on top of this, you see it won't do the effect. That checkerboard will block the view. So what we need to do instead is we need to click on the quick selection tool here and we just can drag out here and we'll press shift and we'll drag out here and then we're going to press delete. Now you can see that, that is the real checkerboard behind. That is the one we we're seeing at the beginning. So now you see when I do a new layer, we put our ocean there. Now we get the desired effect. So thanks for watching.